Okay, so let's look at homomorphic encryption. So with homomorphic encryption, what we can do is we can uh, set up uh, a mathematical operation between two ciphers. So in that way, we can actually keep our processing secure. So for example, Bob could uh, s uh, send uh, some cipher text, Alice also the same, and Eve, the data processor, could actually process the data and send it back. In this way, uh, we can keep the original values of the data secure. The Paleyar system is, is one which is used uh, quite often. So with this, we'll take our values and then we'll create our ciphers. We'll do a basic mathematical operation such as add, and then we'll get our result, which is also ciphered. And we'll use a private key to be able to recover the data of the mathematical operation. So let's have a quick look at some Python code uh, to, to achieve this. <coughs> so in this way, what we'll take is two values, we'll cipher them, and then we'll do a basic uh, operation. So in this case, we're using the uh, 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 an integrated library for Python. We're going to add the two cipher values. We're also going to add one cipher value to uh, a non-cipher value and then what we'll do is we'll take a value and then we'll multiply it by a constant here okay so we'll take our values five and six we generate our keys and then it creates two cipher values and there's the result which is 11 and then we multiply that's 30. okay so the code that we have is here and uh, as we can see, we're taking the two cipher values together, adding them, and then we're decrypting with the private and public key that we generate initially for our, our key pair. So we can see that the public key <coughs> is used for the operation. So we can pass the public key to Eve. Eve can then create the cipher, and then as a result of the cipher, she'll give us back the cipher result and then we use our private key to be able to get the result back again okay so in this way we can actually create uh, secure uh, calculations uh, this is a javascript integration so i just generate a new key pair here and you can see there is our key pair we'll take the value of three and five and we'll create our values here then what we'll do is we'll, we'll add two of them together. Okay, and this is the value that we get for our cipher. Now we're going to multiply that by 5. Okay, and there's the result. And then hopefully, once we decrypt, so our values, that's 15, and then that's multiplied by 5. Uh, there is the the result that we that we get from that uh, three fifteen as a result the five fifteen crypt calculate A and B there, 32, which is 8 times, sorry, 8 <laughs> times 4, which is uh, 32. Okay, so that's, that's what, okay, just to check again. So we'll take uh, 3 and 3, which is 6. And we'll multiply it by 6. And we get an answer of 36. Okay, so that works very well. So now what we'll do is that uh, some uh, some cipher methods actually support uh, this type of homomorphic encryption at the box. So in this case, RSA, when we look at it, here is the cipher, a value, plain text to the power of E. And there's a second one. If we were to use the multiplication then actually that is this and then if we take the two values together 
then automatically they will be multiplied. So now to say we can take the two ciphers, multiply them together and then decrypt. So hopefully we can see an example of that. <coughs> okay, so there's an example there. Okay, there's the Python code if you're interested. So in this case, all we have to do is take encrypt with something. So we're encrypting with a key of 79 and with an n value of this. We'll take the two cipher values. So that's the cipher value for 5 and there's the cipher value for 6 using uh, that e key value and the n. We multiply them together. So when we multiply that, uh, sorry, when we we when we multiply them together, then we get that. And then obviously we've got to take our mod n. We take our mod n all the time to get this value. <coughs> and then when we decrypt that value, we get the original value back. Well, the process value of thirty. Okay, so there, there's the, the basic steps that were taken. We're ciphering here, taking the value, raising it to the power of e, and then mod n, value 2 to the power of e mod n. We then multiply the two ciphers together, and again take mod n. We can then decrypt with the uh, decryption key, and an n value, and we get the result back again. Okay, so it's partially homomorphic, it's not perfect. The only problem with this type of cryptography is it's very slow, but it's a it's a core answer to the problem of being able to reveal data. Okay, thank you.